ready to go. Let's go out there and get after. You guys ready? Yeah! Who? We are! Yeah. Now! Let's get up and show why. Let's go! <laughs> NU Sports is the beginning of a golden age in skill development, where, given their age, kids are becoming more mentally ready to retain information, gather specific sports skills, and understand the game at a higher level. And by utilizing the long-term athlete development principles of the American Development Model, we can help every player reach their full potential. This is achieved by ensuring that every practice conducted is a quality practice by keeping a better practice to game ratio, and ultimately making sure that we develop athletes before hockey players. Gameplay at 10 and under is about kids beginning to learn the spatial awareness on the ice. It's about the beginning of decision making. We're really truly starting to develop their hockey sense. Options now, give it to the winger coming across the weak side wing. And that way we should be able to get out of the zone. To succeed in hockey, you need to have solid basic skills and be comfortable playing in tight spaces. Small games and drills will help you improve in these key areas. I did it as a young player and I still do it today. At 10 and under, game play and skill development is about the players transitioning what they've learned in small areas and beginning to make decisions with the puck. Their awareness comes into play, decision making, hockey sense begins to take hold at 10 and under, and it's critical they start understanding the spatial awareness on the ice. A quality practice doesn't mean just working hard, it means working smart. And by increasing the level of decision making challenges, players begin to push their mental abilities, something they'll need to continue to hone as they get older. We can do this through staging small area games and practices and running drills that require hockey decisions and feature a balance of skill work and live action gameplay. The bottom line is that by promoting fun and engaging age appropriate skill development, we can ensure that practices are of the best quality. As 10U is the beginning of the golden age of skill development, this is our best chance to instill a set of hockey skills that can shape the rest of their playing days. So, emphasizing practices over games at a 3 to 1 ratio in order to maximize development makes perfect sense for the player. And just because there's a bigger emphasis on practice doesn't mean it can't be fun. Practice should be fun but it should also be challenging and engaging to help them get better. Through age-appropriate training and by playing small area games, we can keep practices fun for the kids while teaching them crucial hockey skills in a controlled environment. I'm a firm believer that the kids need to experience a lot of different sports until they get to a certain age and can make that decision. I think uh, the sports my kids play outside of hockey help them develop dramatically overall as an athlete. By taking a break from hockey and playing other sports, kids will learn different sports skills and muscle movement that translate to more speed, agility, and strength once they get on the ice. Think of playing multiple sports like an early version of dry land training. Ten U squirt hockey is an exciting time to be on the ice. The skills they learned in 8U are gelling, and they're using those skills to develop even further. And by making sure practices are of high quality, maintaining a better practice to game ratio, and developing athletes first before we develop hockey players, we can unlock their potential and better prepare them for what's coming next. The American Development Model is an age-appropriate training program that helps every kid at every age level. Go to admkids.com for more information.